Hello boys, welcome back to another session of video tutorials and this session is meant for class 11th biology students and this is for 15th February 2021 as we are into the revision mode we are revising the entire syllabus in the form of CBSC sample papers already we have answered, discussed, reflected upon sample paper 1 and we are going to go ahead with sample paper 2. In uh, Saturday's session, we discussed uh, section A and now in this session, we are going to discuss section B. And as I have been telling you, section B consists of 9 questions. Each question has got 2 marks. So totally there will be 18 marks. So section A 22 plus section B 18. 22 plus 18, 40 marks if you are thorough with only two sections. Okay. Now with that in mind, let's go to that question number 17. Show the pathway of fermentation in yeast by a figure. So you want a schematic diagram of fermentation. So you can see this uh, glucose C6H12O6 and it is becoming glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate is becoming 1,3 by phosphoglycerate or, and that is getting converted to pyruvate and pyruvate becomes acetaldehyde and CO2 and here this glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate is uh, becoming ethanol that is the fermentation as you know in the presence of yeast, the gly glucose will be converted to ethanol. That's how all the from the waste, particularly from the sugarcane molasses, whatever glucose is there in that will be converted to ethanol. So this is how the schematic diagram can be. And in case of uh, if yeast is not there, of course, you know, uh, the fermentation uh, will uh, result in formation of acids particularly lactic acid so the that's why it is called uh, in other terms anaerobic respiration wherein oxygen content is less that is the reason why always uh, we say that athletes or anyone for that matter including you and me we should uh, make warm up before we start playing so that uh, anaerobic respiration will not take place, lactic acid formation will not happen in the muscles and muscle catch will be avoided. So that is the reason why we should always warm up before we do any uh, serious exercise or uh, playing say games like basketball, hockey, football like that. Then question number 18. How do IBA and 2,4-D are used in agriculture? Now, children of uh, farmers, no doubt, IBA and 2,4-D are used to induce the formation of roots on cuttings of many ornamental, horticultural and forest trees. 2,4-D can also be used as weedicide. Weedicide is a chemical that kills the weeds, dangerous ones. And then question number 19. Give a brief description of neural system. The neural system is composed of a specialized nerve cells called neurons. It detects stimuli and transmits neural signals. The neural system of complex animals is composed of two parts. That is central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. The brain and nerve cord comprise the central nervous system and other nerves comprise the peripheral nervous system. Question number 20. What is fermentation? Of course, repeating repeated question. Name any two organic compounds produced in the process. Just now we discussed. Anaerobic respiration is also called fermentation. It involves the production of energy from food nutrients in the absence of oxygen. Sometimes it is in the deficiency of oxygen also. Organic compounds produced in the process is ethyl alcohol in the, in the presence of yeast cells and lactic acid in, is formed in the muscles just now we discussed and that's how the muscle catch takes place or there is a choice for this question. Explain oxidative phosphorylation. Answer in respiration 
the energy of oxidant uh, oxidation and reduction we say redox reactions it is utilized for the production of proton gradient proton h plus gradient required for phosphorylation hence the process is called oxidative phosphorylation what happens during this during oxidative phosphorylation atp is synthesized by the atp synthesizing enzyme when the key osmotic gradient is used to drive the phosphorylation of adp adp plus inorganic phosphate becomes atp the electrons are finally transferred to the oxygen which acts as final hydrogen acceptor question number 21 differentiate between stroma and grana of chloroplast now you can draw the diagram also here okay so that the evaluator is impressed examiner is impressed stroma is the jelly like matrix of chloroplast <coughs> grana these are formed of stacks of thylakoids stroma dark reaction takes place here and hillman reaction light reaction takes place here <coughs> question 22 uh, photolysis 2h2o uh, hydrolysis is becoming 2h plus plus o2 plus 4 electrons based on the above equation answer the following questions question 1 where does this reaction take place in plants of course you know it shows the decomposition of water molecule hydrolysis it takes place in ps2 it is located on the inner surface of thylakoid membrane question 2 what is the significance of this reaction splitting of water continuously provides electrons to the electron transport chain for further steps in photosynthesis and we know that's how we are writing 2h2o giving rise to 2h plus that is protons plus oxygen which is essential for us and that four electrons this electrons which are released will go to etc electron transport chain and in etc all of us know that there will be five uh, stages five phases and finally uh, atp will be synthesized then there is a choice for this the entire process of photosynthesis consists of number of reactions where in the cell do each of these take place now first one synthesis of atp and nadh <coughs> of course you know atp and nadh take place in the outer side of the thylakoid membrane second photolysis of water takes place in the inner side see there it is outer side here it is inner side of the thylakoid membrane third fixation of co2 occurs in the stroma of the chloroplast fourth synthesis of sugar molecule synthesis of sugar molecule takes place in chloroplast fifth synthesis of starch takes place in the cytoplasm see these are very important questions next question 23 what are four basic shapes of bacteria of course this is again a very easy question memory based question knowledge based bacillus rod shaped coccus spherical vibrio comma shaped and spirulum spiral shaped these are the four shapes of bacteria question 24 distinguish between endocrine and exocrine glands endocrine glands of course they don't have ducts ductless glands we have said exocrine they have very much ducts and the endocrine glands having no ducts they secrete hormones directly into the blood and in a 360 degrees fashion here they secrete their secretions that is hormones via ducts so by the time the hormones reach the destination it will take a lot of time in case of exocrine whereas in endocrine the hormones that are secreted quickly they mix up with blood so the action that is to be taken will be fast so endocrine gland example thyroid hypothalamus pituitary and in the case of exocrine sweat glands oil glands liver salivary glands all these are examples question number 25 write the characteristic of mammalia of course mammals our group mammals are supposed to be the highest developed animals on earth they usually nourish their young ones with their milk 
produced in mammary glands man lima orangutan gorilla monkey whale cow buffalo horse elephant rat are included in this group these animals live everywhere in the world they possess great power of adaptation so you can write some more uh, characteristic points like uh, bipedal motion then uh, presence of uh, uh, the well developed brain and uh, presence of four chambered heart all these are very important characteristics of mammals and then uh, we'll go to section c wherein uh, this has got uh, um, five questions and each question carries three marks so it is 15 marks okay so here question number 26 discuss the respiratory pathway in an amphibolic pathway means a two way amphibia amphibolic the respiratory pathway is involved in both anabolism and catabolism anabolism is making that is one amino acid plus another amino acid protein catabolism breaking one big uh, protein will be broken into amino acids like that big compounds chemical compounds are broken that's catabolism for example fatty acids are broken down to acetyl coa before entering the respiratory pathway when it is used as substrate but when the organism needs to synthesize fatty acids acetyl coa is withdrawn from the respiratory pathway for it hence the respiratory pathway comes into the picture both during breakdown as well as making of fatty acids similarly during breakdown and synthesis of proteins too respiratory intermediates form the link hence the respiratory pathway is considered as an amphibolic pathway rather than as catabolic one question number 27 a typical angiosperm flower consists of four floral parts give the names of the floral parts and their arrangement sequentially that's whorls a typical angiosperm flower consists of four floral parts the names of the floral parts and their arrangement sequentially are as follows sepals first one outermost one it is green leafy uh, like uh, outermost whorl it's uh, called calyx uh, second one is petals group of petals colorful and uh, with a lot of fragrance uh, that's uh, corolla then uh, you got uh, stamens the male reproductive organs that's called androecium then knobbed thread like male reproductive flower parts then of course we have got the gynecium which is the female uh, reproductive part of the flower and uh, that consists of uh, carpels uh, so there will be uh, stigma style and ovary and the ovary part is the actual uh, female reproductive system reproductive part hence four parts